Hey GearHeads, Jeff from Gear Report here to tell you about this crazy looking thing right here that just came in the mail. Stick around. So GearHeads, if you've followed the channel for any length of time, then you know that I'm a big fan of Alien Gear holsters. I've got pretty much everything they make. I started with the original leather backed inside the waistband holster, moved to the Cloak Tuck 2.0, and then here we have the Cloak Tuck three the 3.0 um and th this has been my edc my everyday carry holster for quite some time the cloak tuck 3.0 i typically carry inside the waistband about eh, 4 430 right on the back of the hip but alien gear recently sent me a note said hey we got something new we're about to drop would you like to check it out we call it the cloak mod it's an outside the waist holster so here you go we got their typical interchangeable shelves. So the neat thing here, same shelves that go on their inside the waistband holsters. You can see the, the screw pattern that holds them in place, everything about them identical. So if you have the Cloak Tuck 2.0, the original Cloak Tuck, you can see this worn out. Uh, actually, it's not worn out, it's worn in. Missing the shell because that shell got moved to one of the other ones. Neat thing about Alien Gear holsters, you move the shells around to any of the holsters that you have uh, or switch them for different calibers. Same goes true for the Cloak Mods. Just pulled this out of the mail uh, two days ago. Uh, didn't get to wear it the first day. Yesterday I wore it all day, I've worn it this morning. What I can tell you so far is it feels very secure. So we have a uh, uh, clear chamber here in the Glock 17. Um, You see a little bit of a ramp on the inside here. It slides in, it takes a little bit of force to put it in there. I've done no adjustment. This is how it came out of the package. Uh, as with all Alien Gear products, they have rubber spacers on either side that will allow you to change the height and you can tighten them or loosen them till you get uh, more or less of that gripping retention inside. This is just how it was uh, out of the package and it seems to work really well. Fits in. <laughs> not going anywhere you got to give it a tug but when you pull straight out it comes right out so as an outside the waistband holster it's going to go over your belt and you see a very large um, ridge here on the paddle that grabs the bottom side of your belt to hold it on your belt pretty cool uh, that they they overdid it and I and I don't say that lightly I think it's kind of hard to overdo this retention for a paddle holster the paddle check this out that looks like an alien. So I, I kind of enjoy that um, Alien Gear has really embraced their alien logo and uh, is having fun with it. So let's do a tour of this real quick. Um, they sent this nice uh, brochure that tells us about the different parts. So we've talked about the shell. Retention membrane is this rubber layer inside that's kind of grippy, it holds the gun. They have a steel flex plate behind it and then the rigid nylon backer and then the paddle attachment. So that's the standard setup as it comes from the factory. And again, this uh, rubber membrane with the metal behind it, with the steel behind it. I don't know if you can see this flexing. That is what uh, helps give it some of that, that extra retention inside. So, so far, this is kind of a preview, uh, a first look at a brand new product. I've only worn it for a day, but I had absolutely no issues with it. It didn't wobble around. I bounced, jumped, ran, had absolutely no problem with uh, the gun staying in the holster or the holster staying on my belt. If I think I'm gonna have those issues, then they give you a different option with a belt clip. Here's what it looks like in the package. They have it, uh, the, the two extra screws on here. So you take off the two screws in the paddle, you'll reuse those screws here and screw that on. What that looks like when you get it installed is this right here. I have it installed with the spacers. They give you spacers if you're gonna use a thicker belt. I'm using a Bigfoot gun belt, 14 ounce uh, belt with a, a thin steel core that you, you can see our concealed carry video to, to tell you about this belt. And I needed the spacer to give it room to slide on there. So that would sit right here on my hip with very firm retention of the holster uh, if you choose to use that option. So let's talk about what comes in the package real quick. This was already pre-assembled just like this. I didn't change anything. We have the brochure. We, we saw the parts. 
little overview of the holster here, and then rather detailed parts list and instructions on the inside, as well as on the back. We have some instructions for how to wear it, how to adjust the retention, and um, let's see, if you wanted to swap the shells, they even tell you how to do that. So a lot of versatility here. These are selling right now. The introductory price, I believe, is $47.88. Uh, $47.88 seems to be a pretty competitive price to me for a good paddle holster with, with some innovative retention here. Uh, throw in the ability to change to a belt and uh, you know, it looks like a typical good deal. Alien Gear is known for having a, a very high value proposition as far as the lower cost. Uh, they also in the package have uh, a variety of different screws. So it's set up and ready to go. You don't have to touch these screws and do anything to it if you want to. Uh, your Allen wrench is here if you want to make any adjustments. So the way that would work, if you want to go for, uh, you want to tighten it down a little bit so it grips your gun a little bit better, you can tighten these. If you want to loosen it up a little, you can loosen them within reason. Uh, they have three different sizes of spacers and corresponding screws uh, to fit the different sizes of spacers. So if you've got thicker or thinner, you know, you can make fit. Uh, your Allen wrench is included. You got a variety of different screws. They're 3 8 inch, half inch, and 5 8 inch. And then the accompanying spacers, you can see here the different sizes on the back. Uh, again, embracing that branding, they got the Alien logo here. And uh, I'm not sure what the deal here is. This looks like a little rubber pendant that you could put on something. So, I don't know, maybe it'd make a good keychain ornament or uh, uh, I'm not even sure. But anyhow, that is what we have in the package. All comes in this little. Um, zipper bag, ziplock bag. Everything was tucked in there. As you saw here, they send you an Alien Gear holster sticker. This is their triple guarantee that uh, is a 30-day test drive, free shell trade. So that's kind of neat. You know, say I decide I don't want to carry the Glock 17 anymore. I change to, I don't know, uh, a P226. Um, you know, sick. People like them. Uh, I can take this shell off and they'll swap it for me. Uh, I can set it back, they'll send me one for the SIG. Everything's good, don't really look to do that, but if I want to, it's there. Forever warranty, if any part of your Alien Gear holster ever breaks for any reason, including the clips, we'll repair or replace it for free. We've got you covered forever. And something else rather important here, if you can see the bottom corner, made in USA. I kind of like that. Hey, I'm an American, what can I say? They've got a disclaimer of liability um, I would say the proverbial small print. It is actually small print, but you know, if it's important to you, go ahead and read it. I'm sure the attorneys made them put it in there. Um, and this could have been helpful. You know, this came in the mail Wednesday and I picked it up on the way to our range day. Uh, Wednesday morning before the range day, I actually had to go renew my NRA membership because the range requires an active membership for liability reasons. Um, I could use this discount card. Use this card to save up to $40 on your membership. Looks like you get a free duffel bag. Well, had I gone to the mailbox an hour earlier, I'd have been able to use this and save a little bit of money. So Alien Gear, thanks for including that. That was uh, thoughtful. Uh, that's what we have here. Directions, spare parts. Love that they have so many spare parts. If you lose any screws or anything, they're there if you need them. The holster itself. Uh, you know, I'd love to talk more about the holster. I just haven't used it that much yet. So let me show you how it works. We will slide the gun in so it locks in place. All right, then simply catch the inside here and slide it down until that big lip gets under the belt. So I'm grabbing the whole holster and pulling up and uh, I'm gonna pull pretty hard. You can see the little that little lip on the paddle right there. Grab it under the belt, and it's on there pretty pretty good and solid. There you have it. Alien Gear Cloak Mod, the new outside the waist holster from Alien Gear Holsters. Thank you for watching here at your report. Don't forget to subscribe. We would really appreciate it if you'd like this video. Go check out the other videos we have, and go find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, MeWe, Gun District. We're all over the place. We appreciate you. We'll see you at the range.